Hi out there, everyone. Welcome to my studio. We are here in Ovid, Michigan. I'm Rhonda Wade, and I am so grateful you guys are here. Today is a little different than most all of my uh, Chris, my Facebook Lives that I do. Today is going to be a full Christmas card class. I have four uh, quick and cute, simple, yet adorable cards. I hope you think they're adorable to show you. I love them. I happen to really love them. One of them I think I fell in love with so much, I thought this is going to be some of my Christmas cards. I don't do all the same Christmas cards. I get like ADD and, and I like I have to switch up. I also feel like there's so many beautiful things I want to play with all of them. So I usually do about three or four different Christmas cards. Um, one of them is usually pretty simple and I'll mass produce a lot because I usually send out between two and 300 Christmas cards. Hello, all of you. Thanks for letting me know you're here. I am going to give it just about one more minute. Um, so come on in, let me know where you're from. I'm gonna be pulling up um, the live also on my computer. I don't always do that. You guys know that because I get distracted pretty easily and then I lose my train of thought. Um, I also, uh, during my weekly lives that I do every week, I try to keep them a little bit shorter um, so that you can, you know, so that you're able to watch it and then actually make it. Like, I love it when you make things. Hi, Terry. Congratulations on winning, um, winning a door prize last night during bingo. So yes, some of my bingo people were on here. We had bingo for about, it was almost 80 people last night. That was fun. Online bingo is super fun. So I am just pulling this up so that I can actually, today I will read your comments. So you can ask me questions. You can, so today will be a little bit longer. Um, if you're watching the replay, of course, still give me a shout out, say hi. I love knowing you guys are here. I see lots of my card club members on here. I'm so excited about this month's card clubs. I don't have them here with me. I should show them to you because they are so cute. Um, we're using the new Gardens Eden paper, but we're not using that stamp set. We're using a Christmas one. Oh gosh, Trisha, you don't have to rub it in my face. It's 90 degrees there. It is like pitch black here in Michigan. I actually turned on some extra lights because I think we're getting a storm right now and it is really, really dark outside. So again, if you are watching the replay, you know, please let me know. Um, and if you're here, you're live for a change. I love it when you guys join me live. You're so encouraging to me. I love your hearts. I love it when you give me thumbs up. Um, and if I do make you angry, you want to give me an angry face, that's okay too. I, I can handle it. Um, and if you are just watching and you don't like listening to this chatter, feel free to fast forward on the replay to where we actually start creating. But I do have to talk for a little bit so that everybody can find this in their news feed. So I am going to make sure this is muted. Now I can see... Um, Trisha said she would send me some warm weather if you could. You are always so thoughtful. I would love, I would take your warm weather. Actually, I'm gonna be gone next week. So next week I won't be doing a live. I did record a video for you though, so I'll post that, but I did not, I won't be doing a live next week. I'm gonna actually be on a vacation with my husband um, we and some really good friends. They invite us to their timeshare in Hawaii. So we are going um, next week, so I will be gone. I'm really excited about it, um, but I'm not yet because I still have, everyone's like, have you, we're leaving tomorrow. And like, they're asking if I've packed yet. I'm like, heck no, I haven't packed. It's like an hour beforehand I'll pack. I still have a million things to do before we leave. All right, so let me, um, so these are Christmas card classes. If you're joining today, I'll be making four more Christmas cards. These are cards that you can still make now. Um, it's only November 11th. You got over a month to be able to order the supplies you need and then make these. So this is my Christmas card class. I typically do this in person. I've been doing classes for 20 years in person. And now, obviously in the last few years, we've been doing them online. So this year, my Christmas card classes are um, totally online, which means we can all enjoy it. You can all watch, but I still, at my Christmas card classes, my customers love to order products and make the cards. And that's what I'm here for, is to help you to be able to create duplicatable, simple, easy Christmas cards. So 
Um, how I how I do my card classes is it's they're free when you when you purchase. So um, so when you when you purchase any um, an order um, and this, for this Christmas card class, it's a minimum of a thirty five dollar order. I will ship you the supplies to make those those class those cards. So I'll cut the card stock. We do your a lot of your uh, die cutting work for you. We do your punching. We prep the, the cards for you so that you, we don't supply the inks and the stamps. So that's something that you're gonna wanna purchase or something that you'll wanna have. And then you will put together your four cards when they come, but then you'll be able to make lots more with the things that you are learning, the things that you are purchasing. So as a, as a, as a extra special sale, as an extra, um, enticement. If your order is over $50, then I put in there a really awesome embellishment. And so for this, um, this week, if you order um, today, starting today, and I've already posted the link for you to be able to order, there's this, there's this host code that will let me know that you are ordering under this party. So if you do place an order, again, it's over $35, then you get the card kit for free, I pay for the shipping, um, and I'll send you all the supplies with the envelopes to make those four cards. I also send all of you the directions and the tutorial and the measurements and all of that. And then if you go over $50, I'll send you an extra special gift. Um, and this, um, this one is one I've included before, but if you're like me, yours are all gone. I have ordered packs and packs and packs of these. Um, especially right now with your Christmas cards, you're gonna want lots of them. So I'm gonna be including the holiday rhinestones. Yours will have all of the rhinestones. I've actually used some of this. I've used, like I got lots of <laughs> half used ones. This, isn't that crazy? Why do I do that? Like I don't go in order. I just bounce all over the place. But look at these. I have so many of these, like, but they're almost all gone. This one, there's only a few colors left. So if you can tell, I love the holiday rhinestones. And right now, this time of year, you should be able to bust through one whole thing of these on your cards. So that is your extra free item. They're normally $6. And if you spend over $50, I'll give you all four cards and the holiday rhinestones. So with that being said, I think you guys are all on here. Are you ready to jump in? Um, I'm gonna just recap really quick the cards that we made last time, just because I think they're so cute. We made this little Santa one, and again, we used the holiday rhinestones on that. We, I taught you how to make, an, um, last time we did photo cards. So if you missed this video, you can go back in the video section. We made these little easel cards. Um, there you go. Someone asked if I was going to on stage. I'm, I'm not, it is all recorded. Um, but if you wanna know the truth, I'm gonna just, you know Rhonda, Rhonda just tells the truth like it is. Um, when registration happened, I was, it was my surgery um, was when it started. And then it, my surgery was a major one and it really wiped me out. And um, I do bounce around in my dimensions. Anyway, I actually missed registration for on stage. First time in 21 years. Um, but we were able to, I'll be able to watch the recorded version. I was able to purchase that, but I, yeah, so I'm, and it worked out okay because I'm going to be in Hawaii anyway, but like the awards night and all of that, I'm not, I won't be able to participate. And you know what? That is, I snoozed, I, lo I lost, you know, I should have stayed more on top of that, but I really did not pay much attention to things when I was on my surgery. I was trying to recover and didn't pay attention. Anyway. So long story short, answer your question, Jennifer. I'm actually not going to go this weekend to on stage um, or attend it. I will be traveling anyway, um, but it is recorded and I was able to purchase the recording so I can listen to it when I get back. All right, and this was this little photo card. So that was last week's, or it was on uh, two weeks ago. So if you missed it, you can access those. All right, let's jump in. I am ready. Um, I got so much to show you. We have four cards. And they are sweet and simple. I'm gonna start off with this one that's right here on top. Um, and uh, you guys ready? Are you guys all ready? I love that you're here. Um, and again, remember that Rhonda's thought process, quick, cute, sweet, simple, and then duplicatable. So I wanna give you the chance to be able to make these now and then you know still be able to, to use them 
um, this holiday season. So let's start off with, I, this is a piece of Mossy Meadow. I am using the same paper that I've been using quite a bit. Um, it's that heartwarming, uh, heartwarming hugs. It was paper that we had had last year and I've been using it a ton. It's very, very Christmassy. Um, I think it's very traditional Christmas, but then it also is I got some fall. So I use a lot of these Buffalo, well, that's crosshatch, what, cross something? But I've been using those two for fall cards. I made the cutest apple card with this piece. Anyway, so it's very versatile. So that's what I'm using, the heartwarming hugs. And um, you can tell I've used it a lot. It's like my second or third pack of it. And I'm using these um, patterns that have the mossy meadow. So we're gonna, this is going to be a fun little fold, nothing crazy. Um, Rhonda doesn't do crazy. We're going to just fold that in half. My whole, my whole life is crazy. I don't need crazy cards to go along with it. Yes, I do hop around on dimensionals too. I don't know why. I don't know, it's, it's my personality. All right, so once I folded that, then I'm actually gonna fold it back. So this is, for those of you who uh, don't know, this is called the Z-fold. Um, it's just a unique way, again, just to do something a little bit unique, a little bit different, and it doesn't take that much more work. So I just folded back on that. So I have this piece cut. It's three and three quarters by five, and I'm going to glue that down. If you wanted more of the red to pop out, you could put that um, side up there. I wanted, I love green and red or green and pink, and we have so many different shades. So this is Mossy Meadow. This piece here I cut uh, one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. So that piece is gonna go right here. And again, if I wanted more of that red, I could have had this other side up, but I'm a, don't like a, a, I'm not a busy, I like my cards to not be too busy. So, and these are just, these patterns go so cool together. Even just like that, that card is already so cool. So this is just a simple Z fold. Um, now we have our little focal point and I, I ran through, um, this is our Hippo and Friends. And I love the Hippo and Friends and I don't think I've ever even made a Hippo card, but I love all the labels. They got lots and lots of labels that are very, very useful in there. And I got some pieces. I did some of this ahead of time just to make it, um, just to make it a little bit easier for you. The stamp set I'm gonna use is the Encircled in Warmth. The reason why I'm choosing this is because who out there got my retreat in a box? Uh, I wanna hear from you. Um, and uh, Lois, it's okay, we just started. You got here just in time, you didn't miss anything. But we featured this Encircled in Warmth in one of the classes and we used it actually on some of the, the pillow gifts or, but we, um, oh, we used it in our bingo too. So if you took the retreat in the box, I'm so, hopefully you got it. Hopefully it came in you know, pretty safe for you. I'm gonna use this really big stamp that says, you warm my heart. Um, so you can send this as a Christmas card, but really you could send it for any occasion right now. Um, I'm choosing to use the Poppy Parade, so not, the, the, not just the regular red. Um, yeah, wh which one was your favorite pillow gift, guys? Tell me which was your favorite. Oh, it was hard, they were, there were some pretty good ones this time. So we, we give them five pillow gifts, and then we do a bag, and um, the pillow gifts this time were kind of like presents, because it's like a Christmas one. All right, so I'm going to stamp this You Warm My Heart um, like that. It's pretty good. I could have been a little bit further over, but it's good enough. I just think that font is so cool. And again, I'm using the Poppy Parade just because it's um, kind of a real bright uh, red I think is neat for Christmas. So it's not our traditional red. It has a little pop to it, a little lighter pop. So we're gonna make, I'm going to clean my stamps as I go because otherwise it they will be messy. All right, so that's going to get glued down to the front and I'm going to put glue just down the one side so that gets going to get glued right there. Now this is a piece that's going to go on the inside. I just ran another one. Um, so, oops, I'm going to put my glue on that and then all I do to line this up is I just literally, like, I line this up here like that so it's lined up and then I fold that over and glue it down. So that, oops, sorry, I was shaking you. Um, so that way it's, it's right there and you can't, you know, when they open it up, that's where you would sign your little message. So 
I picked two die cuts for this card. I, when you warm my heart, it, I, it thinks to me of a heart, right? So we're gonna take our little heart and I will take a dimensional and that's gonna go there on our card. And this I ran through in our Poppy Parade. This, these hearts are awesome. Um, and I get them from the Give It A Whirl dies. So I've used this die set. I actually have two sets of these dies, two sets because I use them so much, but see, I use them for, I love the hearts and the stars. It's got four sides of hearts, the clouds. Um, I haven't, I'll be honest with you, I haven't even made a whirl card with this yet, but I use it for all the other labels, circles. I love this. And look at the cute little arrows, and someday I'll make a whirl card. I haven't done that yet. I actually wanna do a class on it because they look really cool. So that's where I got the heart from. And then the warm wraps dies. Again, I use this a lot. And again, I have two, I have doubles of them. The dies I use a lot in my classes, I do doubles. Because look at the cute little Christmas tree. Remember we used that last week. Um, and then a star. This has a cute little coffee mug or teacup. And then again, a heart. And I think those are candy canes. I thought it was a bow, but I think it's candy canes. All right, so those are the die sets that I used um, to come up with that heart. And then I have this cute little coffee cup. Everybody loves hot cocoa or coffee um, during this time of year. So I think that's really cute to just stick that right down there. And then last but not least, um, one of the things I'm gonna use quite a bit today is our twine packs. Now, any of you that, um, that get my classes know I've included these twine packs several times. That way you, get, you have twine in all these different colors. Trisha said her favorite was the shadow box. That was Jane's favorite too. Jane, um, she's the one who helps me make all of them. Like I, I design them, but then she takes them home for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And she said even, so she had to make 142. And by that point, you think you might be sick of them, but she said that her favorite still she loved so much was the shadow box that says you leave a little sparkle wherever you go. All right. Okay, so I just made a little heart. I mean, oh, a little bow. A little bow of white twine, and I'm gonna put that right there. I love twine too, because it doesn't add bulk to your card. So there is our card number one. You warm my heart with a cute little heart and a little coffee cup, and then you open it up as a cute little Z fold. Again, you could, if you wanted to make this more Christmassy, then you would have, you could use the the warm, the warm Christmas wishes or one of those. But I wanted to be able to send this to like my friends. It's still a Christmas card. And obviously then you have your, your envelope here. I would probably stamp that in something too. So there's card number one. I use the encircled and warmth. And um, my next card, I'm gonna move this stuff all out of my way. And so I don't get, oh, it's starting to rain here. All right, oh, I gotta do this next one. This is the one that I'm talking about. This is gonna be, I think, one of my Christmas cards. Um, I have some different pieces here. Let me get them all out. I have a sample card that I've already done in case I mess up. So I got, I know what it's supposed to look like. Hands down, my favorite paper out of the Halloween Mini Catalog is the Whimsy and Wonder. So um, it's been on and off back order um, it's what we're using in our bauble stamp camp. Um, you'll get a whole pack of it. Um, I think you need about three or four packs to be okay um, to make it through because it is, especially if you're gonna make these cards because you're gonna chop it all up and use it. And you could use any of these patterns. Look how beautiful it is. Can you guys see that? Um, yeah, I, you're gonna want to have several packs of these. So I'm using this piece, which is definitely one of my favorite, is the Whimsical Trees. And both, all of them have nice, nice backsides too. <laughs> That's funny. I have, do you have a nice backside? It's always good when we have nice backsides. I didn't mean to say it like that, but that's how it came out. Oh, this piece here is one of my favorites. I only have one strip left. And then this side is the Misty Moonlight, but I love this piece right here with those ornaments. Anyway, okay. So for those of you who are taking the bauble camp, I see lots of you on here. You're gonna get a whole pack of that. I hope you're happy. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this. I gotta look at my thing to make sure, okay. And I am going to glue this down to a piece of our basic white. 
easy. Oh, it wasn't one of your favorites, Michelle. You know, um, I didn't um, get, fall in love with it at first because it was constantly on back order and then it was unorderable. And I was like, I can't even use this. I, so I kind of put it aside. But now that it's been available, I have been using it a lot. All right, so this tree, um, these trees, I'm also gonna use a stamp set, Heartfelt Wishes. And there's our, tr and the tree dies. There's a stamp set too, but I'm not actually, I'll show it to you. Although I'm not even gonna probably use it, but I'll show it to you. Um, there you go. So this is the Whimsical Trees stamp set, and it definitely has the trees. Um, and then it has lots of cute little trees. And then it has dies. The die set is actually huge. I think it's huge. It has this really big tree that you would use for either scrapbooking or gift making. It has lots of little trees. But then look, it keeps going. There's more trees, more little trees. Look at all little ornaments. And it has, it's very, very versatile. Um, it's got little st lots, of, lots of stars. So, um, and it, it has this tree right here that I'm going to do for you. Um, this is the tree we're going to use on this card. All right, let me get cleaned up here. I just wanted to show you what I'm using. This is So this is the Whimsical Trees bundle. Who has that? Does anybody have this bundle? I'm, I haven't used it in a class yet. So first thing I'm going to do is take out our uh, mini stamp and cut emboss machine. You guys know um, I love that, especially for these Facebook Lives. And but hopefully it doesn't shake you too bad. I'm going to put these down here. And this is perfect for, I'm going to, I'm using the white velvet. So this is the white, if you took the retreat in a box, you guys got a whole pack of the white velvet, but it's only two sheets. So if you're going to make these cards, you're going to probably need some more of it. And it's in the holiday catalog. So it's a specialty item. It's not in our regular catalog. So you're going to want to grab that too. All right. I'm going to turn this, hopefully not shake you guys too bad. Um, this is the white velvet. So last time that I used this, somebody on one of these lives, I don't remember who it was, um, told me, well, you know, you can emboss that. And I was like, really? I guess, you know, I didn't know that you could emboss the velvet. So now I, so that's what I did. I took the velvet and I'm taking one of the wintry folders. Um, and this one has all of like the pine and I'm gonna do that, and now I'm gonna crank that through, and it is gorgeous. You can do, um, you know, polka dots. I have one that does stars, but you can, I don't think I had the right layering there. Oh, no, it worked. So I don't know if you can even see, but now the tree, oops, the tree has all this texture to it. Looks like a real tree. All right, like just like that, like magic. Um, I think I might be done with this for right now, but I can pull it back out again later if I need to. Ooh, sorry, that was loud. All right. Um, the next thing that I did here is um, I have a piece of our uh, basic white, and I ran that through. I needed to make snow, like a snow look. So I'm using the Peaceful Cabin, again, for those who took the retreat, this was our focus. I knew lots of you would, would own this already. Um, so I'm taking the, the tree that looks like this. I'm actually going to, we're gonna be using these on the next card. So I'm gonna show you lots of different ways to use this. But it has like all these scenes that are so cool and I'm gonna use the one that looks like, oh, that will be the next one. For this card, I need the little tiny fox. So there's this little tiny fox, but I want the snow drift, the, the look of the snow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run this through. Um, and I did it already, but I wanted to just show you that look, like I just laid that down. I don't need the fox, but I want the snow drift. So that's all I did. So I ran that through. Um, I'm gonna trim it off so it's not quite so big. I don't need it that big. There, so there's our little snow drift and it needs to be by four inches or by, um, no, three and three quarters. So I'll make it by three and three quarters and then that is what will go right there on the bottom. So I wanted to create some snow. All right, time to assemble. I had to get all my little prep work done. This goes down at the bottom. 
those of you who are really talented, you could always just, it was you, Becky. Thank you. I loved it. I've been doing all kinds of embossing on the vellum since you told me. I got another sample to show you here in a minute. So don't go anywhere. So I'm just gonna put the white snow down there. I'm going to take our white velvet tree that we did that has that we ran through the embossing folder and I'm going to put that down here to our add it to our snowy scene just like this right oh I forgot I was going to add some rhinestones that first one all right um oops I think I went a little bit too low I forgot I gotta stamp my words let's stamp my words before I put that down I'm using the basic gray stamp pad. If you wanted to step this up, you guys could emboss this in silver. Um, I'm using the Happiest Holidays and just stamping that down here at the bottom, just like that. So now I know where to put my tree. Let's put a couple more dimensionals on there because I tore these off, so they're probably not quite as sticky as they, they should be. We'll grab a couple of those and then stick that down. So now I kind of know where I want it to go. So this beautiful white velvet tree. I'm gonna take some of our white glittered ribbon. Those of you who ordered last time, this was your free gift. So I know lots of you watching, you have some of this. If not, oh, there goes my heater. You're gonna to wanna to order it. It's on low inventory right now. Just so you know, if you don't get it right now, you might not. So I would recommend, um, and this is one too, where even if you have a bolt of it, cause I know, a lot of my customers own this because I've included it. It's one that you might want to have a couple so you can, again, mass produce this card. You're going to use an entire bolt or other cards because I've been using it a lot. So we're just going to pull off that. It adds just the right amount of sparkle. We're going to add that. And then last but not least, I want to show you the awesome versatility of, that, of those holiday rhinestones that are somewhere, oh, I stuck them down here, hold on. I store them in stamp cases, so sometimes I get them mixed up. Hopefully my area is not too messy, because I, I don't want the area gets real messy, that it gets confusing what's going on. So I'm gonna just give me a second to put things away. Now obviously I would stamp that tree on my envelope too. I didn't do that yet, but I wanna make sure I get that put back. There, all right, I think I actually need to use that again. So let's just, I'm gonna take these, um, I wanna use the very light, the, these are like pool party, but here's the crazy thing about these rhinestones. The second I put them on here, they turn and look like they're the mint macaron. So I'm just gonna put a few of those on the tree. Actually, I'll probably put five. That's usually what I do. And I'm just using my, oh goodness gracious, Come on back here, this one wants to bounce around. Look at that. There's something possessed about this that, whew, he is fighting me all the way. I, sh I have my pick tool, I need to get that out. So one, two, this one over here, three, five. This is, see, this is why you need lots of holiday rhinestones. But look at, so you'll get that free. Um, I know, isn't it stunning? It's stunning. This card is, I wish you could see it in person. It is so gorgeous. And I have another variation of it too. Um, I wanted to make one more with a, a misty moonlight, but I just ran out of time. So, but I did make another one too. Um, when I do these, I try to give you guys variations. So last but not least, we're going to take our card and add it to our piece of mint macaron. And then see, this is the card I'm talking about. I want to make like a hundred of these. And so I need a couple packs of paper, I needed a couple bolts of ribbon, and definitely a couple holiday rhinestones because I can make these in all the different colors and I won't get bored with the same card. And each one is just as pretty as the next. So there we go. Isn't that, can you see how stunning that is? Here is my other variation. So this one I did in pinks. And I still had to add my, this one I was just gonna use basic rhinestones. Um, I wanna show you this one, if you can see it, I, if you can even see, I um, embossed this one with the star crossed. And so there are stars that are on this one, where this one we embossed with the wintry 
I don't even know if you can see, but I'll try to take a picture of it and capture it because it's it's awesome. Oh, my um, we used Arlena used my little picker tool. We didn't put it back, so we're gonna use. We'll continue to keep. Oh, there it is. Yeah, she did. Um, we did. I'm just gonna use that and put, add on some rhinestones here. So again, these are. Um, we included a whole thing of rhinestones in our retreat in a box too because we always always need those all right so which one is your favorite the blushing bride or the mint macaron i have to say i could not choose i love them both equally as much so there's that one two down um, and i would stamp your envelope to match that let's see i don't i'm going to because again if i don't then I will forget to. So all of these um, trees, there's like two or three to three different trees in here. So cute. So I always like to have, you know, our little matching envelopes. I don't like to have naked envelopes. So I'm gonna just take that and stamp that down there at the bottom. And then I'll stamp it again. So you've got a little variation. Okay, now I'm happy. Um, yeah, both you can't choose. I know I can't choose either. Uh, Catherine likes the mint one. Oh, blushing bride. Afterwards, I always like to go back and look at your guys' comments and kind of see which one was the winner. So I'll tell you what the winner is later. All right. Okay, you ready? We have, that was our second one. Um, again, an awesome, sweet, simple card that we did. And the envelope will match either one of those. And now we have another awesome Christmas card. I got two. And they're, oh gosh, I didn't put this away. If I don't, guys it could be ugly i just got these in so um nancy hasn't made my little case for it she will she'll take care of all of those all right so the next one i do want since i had it out let's keep using it we're going to use the peaceful cabin bundle so again shout out to those that took the retreat in a box you guys all own this right because this is what was the one that we used um so this card i have we got some pieces I want to get out. Um, it's going to be shades of fresh freesia. So our very first card I did today was very traditional Christmas, red and green, right? Um, now I'm going to I switched to some different colors. It's kind of fun to do a little bit different. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take. Oh, I already have it here. Um, the scenery of the trees, and I already have it on my block. And I'm just going to use fresh freesia. And this makes a beautiful Christmas card or just a winter card. If you don't want to make this Christmas, you do not have to. So maybe you're already all done with your Christmas cards, then you can make this for another reason. All right, so I inked that baby up and you will want to uh, come this over a little bit to the, like, the left-hand side. So like the lower left-hand side. It doesn't have to be perfect, but sorry, I did that looking at me because I didn't want to mess that up. Um, I don't think that I am going to need, let me see. Uh, I actually don't think I stamped that high enough. Let me do that again. I gotta stamp it just a little bit higher because I need a space to go stamp. There we go. All right, so I stamped that there. Oh, guess what? This is dumb. I didn't need to do that because I actually stamped it and then ran it through the Stampin' Cut and Boss machine. I ran it through for you. And then this is what came out. So um, that scenery that I was telling you about, like it, it, I ran it through the trees and then it gives you the place for your snow. Uh, one really cool thing about these dies as well, and this I am gonna do to show you, um, cause this will fit through. The other one just wouldn't fit this. You can't be any wider than about three and a half. And so it was wider than three and a half. That was three and three quarters. So, but this is not. So now I can take um, those trees, so you guys can see, I'm gonna take the trees and put those down. And then there's these pieces that just, it almost like uh, puts little holes or texture in the tree. So the tree like looks, it, it like looks real. So I'm gonna put that on here and see that fits perfectly on there. And let me crank that through. You then can also put this behind a color and then the color will, will, will show through. <laughs> uh, Becky said, does anybody else have their um, catalog nearby so you can make a list? Yes, make your list. 
Absolutely, that's what we all do. I don't know if you all have these running wish lists. All right, so there is that. And then if you can, I don't know if you can tell, I just get a little flicks, see like that? And then all the things go flying everywhere. I know they have fancy machines, but just go the flick, flick, and then they all come out. But it creates these holes. So you could put color behind there if you wanted to. I'm not on this one, I'll tell you why. But see, if you put the color behind it, then that pops through the trees too. All right, now I have all this mess, but we'll take care of that later. I'll get a little broom back here. Maybe not, but I will maybe get a broom back here or just kind of push it off to the side. All right, so let's go finish our card. This is this card is so pretty. Um, what I have here is, let's see. Oh, I had a piece of vellum and I can't find it. Oh, there it is. See, vellum is there. All right, it's a piece of basic white, and we're just gonna fold it in half. This is our thick basic white. So for card bases, I like to use the thick. And then the next thing we're going to do is I have a piece of three and three quarters by five. That was the same size that I did this and I ran it through. So it's the same, it was the same size. Before I, um, though, I wanna stamp some of these snowflakes. So this set also has some snowflakes and I'm just gonna stamp those randomly up here across. Um, and I'll, I stamp a couple times so that you get the variation. So it's just like snowing. See, it's like a little snow blizzard. There, so stamp that. And then I wanted to give this card, you know, I always look for like little things that are kind of like special, right? So I'm gonna lay a piece of vellum down. It will give this a very soft, cool background look. So I'm, I can put the glue down here and I can, um, I'm going to put glue wherever these trees are because guess what? You won't be able to see it. And then this gets glued down to here. I also am going to add rhinestones. So you'll see, I'll actually even put like a little mini glue dot up here too. And you won't be able to see through there. All right. Our next step is to add our trees. Can you guys see how beautiful this is coming together? It is, it is such a pretty card. I'm gonna do my stamping first so that I don't make a mistake on it, which I guess it wouldn't matter at this point. Um, you could use any of the words from here, but this is truly gonna be one of my Christmas cards. So I'm gonna go back to that heartfelt wishes and take the long Merry Christmas that's in there. I love the heartfelt wishes. It's like, see the font is just beautiful. And then you got some things for the inside, some things for the outside. So that was actually one of the very first um, things that I got out of the catalog. Um, I'm going to stamp that in, let's see, should I do color? Yeah, I'll do the Fresh Freesia. Um, no, I'm gonna do basic gray. Basic gray, just basic gray is a really nice soft neutral. Okay, I'm gonna stamp that down there at the bottom. Hopefully I'll get it straight like that so see isn't that so pretty so pretty oh Della shared thank you guys from sharing for sharing this um I love it when you share my videos so everybody can enjoy in our Christmas card class all right so let's get back to business we want to take our dimensionals again these are simple easy cards I'm going to pop this up now, one thing that I did do is I'm gonna take just some small dimensionals here along the side, actually two of them, and I'm gonna put those at the top of these trees. You can't see through, at least I don't think you can. So a little bit will be through those things, but you, because it's all white, you, you can't see it. But then those trees aren't flopping in the wind, right? We don't want things flopping in the wind. All right. I'm gonna, sh I, hate, I made another variation of this card. I'll have to show it to you. I'm gonna get your opinion on this too. All right, so there is our gorgeous fresh freesia. That vellum in the background, guys, it makes all the difference. It gives us this very soft, and again, uh, uh, just makes it special, right? It's, it's a very special looking card. It's gorgeous, actually. So there's that. And then this is gonna get put down, yep, with, see if I, no, I'll glue it directly down. Stampin' Seal Plus is definitely my adhesive of choice. I love it, so my cards do not fall apart. Let's see. All right, 
and we're gonna glue this down. Has anybody started their Christmas cards yet? I'm sure we could all have more to make. So there, so far, isn't that gorgeous? It's just beautiful. Um, there's a couple different things you can do. First of all, let me show you. Here is another one that I did. This was done in Night of Navy. The vellum is there. It kind of gives it a very misty, like it's almost like a foggy morning look to it. Yeah, thanks for those hearts. They, it is. I don't know if you can even see how gorgeous it is. And I don't know if you can even tell the vellum not really but anyway it's beautiful so for this one um, i'm going to use those holiday rhinestones remember if your order is over fifty dollars these are i'll give them to you for free so normally they're six dollars i'm going to put some of those um that really pretty like blue and i am going to put one big one up here and that's because i'm going to um i'm going to put another mini glue dot up there and then i'm going to go with some of our regular rhinestones too and sprinkle those on. You can tell, yes, Rhonda loves rhinestones. I think it makes a big difference when someone gets it. And it also doesn't add any like bulk to the card so that it, it doesn't cost any more money to ship that. But look, I can take one of these mini glue dots and I'm gonna put it right behind this big rhinestone right here because then you won't see it, but then the vellum will stick down. Isn't that a little tricky, a little tricky pants? So there's that one, gorgeous, gorgeous card. Um, of course, make sure while you have everything out, you wanna make sure that you're stamping your envelopes. It's sparkling snow, exactly. If we're gonna at least have snow, at least needs to be sparkly snow. All right, so there's my envelope that I stamped to match my card. Who would not absolutely love that beautiful scene to get into the mail, right? It is gorgeous. All right, okay, give me one second. I'm gonna clean, and here's the blue. Which one's your favorite? The, the Fresh Freesia or the Night of Navy? I, I definitely don't think I could pick, um, I couldn't, don't think I could pick one. So let me clean my stamp off real quick so that I don't stick my hand in it or don't obviously put it, the chamois. Does everybody have their chamois? This is the best thing. Yes, champagne rhinestones would be very, very pretty. Oh, those cards look so, I, I'm watching too. Um, Trisha said the only snow she gets is on her cards. Someday, Trisha, you'll have to come to Michigan in the winter. I used to do a retreat in the winter um, and it, some people would come. It'd be like the only time they ever got to see snow. Uh, one time Erica Sirwin came to visit me in the winter and she like she went, she had to go buy like coats and boots and all of that because it's not anything she owned with living in, in Texas, so it's fun though. All right, so there's that. Oh gosh, while I have it out, I am going to, well maybe not because I already put it away. All right, so next up, I got one last card. If you guys are ready, are you guys hanging in there with me? Um, this one is also, um, this will be more of a traditional Christmas. Um, the ones I've done, I also wanna show you these guys. This was a project I did with my team. So every month, um, and have you guys heard, Stampin' Up! is doing a sale on the starter kit. So if maybe you were a demonstrator a long time ago and you wanna come back again, or you just are new to Stampin' Up! but you wanna start you know, purchasing lots of stuff, the best way to do it is to join the company and then um, you, know, you either join my team and then you get to get a discount. I am a very, very active team leader too. We do monthly team meetings and fun incentives. Christmas party is coming up and we do lots of fun stuff together. But this was the projects from my meeting this month. We made um, these are our, our acetate, but look, we made poop. So I said, I heard you've been naughty, so here's the scoop. All you get is elf poop. Is that not adorable? So we made elf poop um, and I just used like the spearmint candies. Um, of course, what's this? We all know that one, right? So you gotta guess, what's this one? It is snowman poop and they're little mini marshmallows. So these are great for craft fair items or to give in stockings. Okay, this one I think is so neat. Can you see? Um, I actually did the white stitching on the outside of the chalk marker. This is from that gingerbread paper. So you got it. It's gingerbread man poop. So um, who else, does anybody else love poop? Like, I think the word poop just makes everybody laugh. So this would be great to put in stockings. And then I had the little poem. Yeah, so these are things that my team does. So if you've ever thought about it, 
you, I would love to have you as a part of our Rubber Queen family. Um, this one is not Christmassy. This is, can you guess what this is? This is unicorn poop. And we included Skittles. So you could do Skittles, you could do like little mini Starbursts or things like that. So it says, I heard it's your birthday, so here's the scoop. All you get is unicorn poop. How fun is that? I love this one. And lastly, um, this one doesn't have very much left in it because I've eaten it. <laughs> this ice is, was my favorite poop to actually eat. And it says, I heard you've been naughty, so here's a scoop. All you get is reindeer poop. And then we use the reindeer punch, which should be coming off of, um, it should definitely be coming off of back order soon this week too. Um, let's see here. Where, oh, I was trying to read your, um, your messages. But yes, you guys can always message me. I do have a website. Um, I was trying to see what Edith's question is. Let's see here. Oh, see, I wasn't even paying attention. I would definitely be happy to help, whatever it may be. But anyway, just keep asking. Edith, you can ask me again. But yes, thanks you for all my friends for helping. They even gave you my email address. All right, last card. Are you ready? It's gonna, I, it is gonna be pretty sweet and simple. Look at that, just white. We all know I love to use white. Um, we're gonna be using a Christmas to uh, remember stamp set, and then there's a Christmas season bundle that has all these pine pines, and I love these. Again, this is one where I own doubles. Um, so, yes. Um, she wants to know how to get a catalog. So how I do my catalogs is you have to pay, you have to pay $10 to get a catalog. If you've, my customers get catalogs for free. So if anybody on here has ever ordered from me, I give free catalogs. But if someone I don't know has never ordered from me, um, I give you a PayPal link, it's $10, and then I will ship the catalog to you because it costs me, um, it costs me at least six or seven dollars to ship a catalog, and then you get a ten dollar coupon off your first order. So yes, Edith, message me, and I can give you that link. If anybody else needs a catalog, um, that's how that's how I do it. Just because of the cost of the shipping, but then you get it right back in a coupon. So basically, it is free because then I give it to you off of um, you get ten dollars off of your first order. All right. So um, here are, look at these, so dies. I, I love these labels. And yeah, there's a lots of everything in here. So this is new in the catalog as well. Um, this card's gonna be awesome, but it is sweet and simple. And look at the supplies you need, not much. So it's a very inexpensive one too. So I'm gonna take the basic white and fold this in half. Um, what I like about this, um, what I like about this stamp set is that it, it you kind of build up, you know, I like, no, I use a lot of, um, I use a lot of designer series paper. Um, this one, you're kind of gonna build up the beauty of the card with um, ink and stamps. And so I'm going to take, I need a piece of scrap paper because I'm gonna be doing some stamping off. I don't wanna get it on my background because then I'll get it everywhere. So we wanna stamp the pines is what we're gonna do first. And let me go grab in here and get the little pine. There, there's several different pines. I wonder which one I should use here. I'm gonna use this one because it has two. All right, so I'm gonna take the pines and I'm using Evening Evergreen, which is a pretty dark green. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp it once and I'm gonna stamp it again. So we get some definite variation of color. And then I'm gonna stamp it again. You see that? And then I'm gonna do it one more time, and then I'm gonna do it just like that. Now, that's not perfect. So, uh, I'm gonna go back in. There's another pine leaf in there. And I'm gonna add a couple more of our pine leaves. There you go. So, let me grab that one. This card actually was one that I made last month. I did a thing called the Celebration Celebration with my team. And this was a card that we made there. I liked it so much, I wanted to show it to you guys. So let me ink this up, make sure I got it inked up correctly. And then I'm just gonna fill in with a few more. These are more um, bushy, if that's the right word, pine, pine needles. And I'm just gonna add a few more of those. There. So now we've got, and Rhonda got a little, I don't know, is that gonna matter? I think it might matter. All right, let's, 
I needed to be more careful. All right, let me just stamp a few more of these. It won't take me long. This is, so that's how it is. You just kind of randomly stamp them like that. And I'm gonna be more careful not to stick my block on the page. Let me go back into that other one real quick and just add in a few of those. So that's what happens when you, when you mess up, you just kind of just start over again, flip it over, try the other side, and then you're good to go. Let me just put one more over here and I just kind of alter it there. There, now we have like a whole spray of pine needles. So then the next thing I want to do is add my pine cone. So um, the pine cone, let me see which one I used. I have, there's some big ones and then there's a small one. I'm gonna use both of them. I'm gonna use, um, let's see here. Every one of them has two pieces to it. So here is the big one. This is the background. And we're gonna be, I'm gonna get rid of this evening evergreen because this is a dark color and it could make a mess if it gets on things. I'm gonna to go to soft suede. So this is to me kind of a pine cone color, but it's a real dark one. So what I wanna do next is to um, ink this up and then I'm gonna stamp it off once and I'm gonna ink that one more time. And I'm gonna stamp it off and I'm gonna stamp it again and then I'm gonna stamp this. And I want just a couple of them. So I'll put that one on there, do it again. And then here's this one. Because it kind of gives it like a very a, ver, a varied look, and now I take the other piece, and this is the detailed. And so this one you can go just go directly the color, and I think it gives me it gives me a nice um, pine cone color. I might even want to do that one off a little bit. There we go. So there's our pine cones. I didn't do one here because I'm going to do a different. I have another pine cone. This one's gonna be a little bit smaller. So if you don't like, this is a very, to me this is a very traditional kind of Christmas card. It's definitely using more traditional, you know, Christmas things. Um, I need a piece of white that I have here and I'm gonna stamp, do the same thing I just did, ink it up, stamp it off twice, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna take, I just need one. And I'm gonna do this one, I'm gonna stamp it. I don't want it quite so dark, and then do that one. Line it up there. There, so there's my pine cone. And, oh, I should probably clean these stamps because they are gonna be a mess, but I don't have time. So we're gonna, it's already been, I don't like to take, take this much longer than an hour. Um, Katie said, I'm glad you're using it. I've looked at it a zillion times. And, all right, so now we have to, you could hand cut that, but it's a little tricky to hand cut that. So I have, this handy dandy little, and this is a little bit wider than what I probably need. So we're gonna run this through. So tonight, today, I definitely have used a stamp and cut emboss machine quite a bit, so you can see what a value it is to have that. Um, you can obviously cut this and just hand cut it, but my hand cutting skills are below uh, kindergarten quality. So it's, I love having the dies that I can just line right up there and then run that through. And I love having, uh-oh, did you see me budge that? I moved it. So you wanna try to be a little bit careful. Some people tape it down with washi tape. I don't do that. I just try to be careful and then I crank it through. All right, here we go. What's the name of the sentiment stamp you use on other cards? Heartfelt wishes, right? Is that what it's called? Uh, yep. Heartfelt Wishes, it's in the holiday catalog. It's $21, um, just so, which is great. That's a good, good, nice, inexpensive one. All right, I'm putting this baby away for the day. Oh, shoot, I didn't show you guys these. I wanted to show you some other sample cards using that peaceful, um, that peaceful place. Remember, I made it, I made the one, like this is what I made today with the Fresh Freesia. I wanted to show you these. These were made by one of my teammates. Her name is Becky Myers. And it's kind of the same concept, um, but she added a few more layers, but she did them in all of the, uh, in colors. Here's her Fresh Freesia one. See, she even did some blending um, and she layered the little fox and she layered the, that. Look at the soft succulent. Isn't it beautiful? And she even did one in the polished pink. So I thought her cards were, 
were gorgeous. I loved them. So that's, these were the inspiration for my card. I just changed it up a little bit, added that vellum. Well, and that was the easel card the other day. Okay, I just wanted to show you those. I had them there to show you and I forgot to get them out. I always like showing you variations of using some of the same products. So you get lots of, lots of use out of it. Put this back there. I don't put things back very often. Ask my helpers, because they're always trying to help me. And I'm like, I can't find this or I can't find that. There you go. So there's our card. I want to take that, um, take our little pine cone and that obviously is gonna get popped up and it's gonna go right here. Uh, we're going to take some of that twine and earlier I used the white twine. This time in that pack of twine, there are five colors of twine, black, vanilla, gray, white, and then like a, like a natural, like a linen color. And so I'm gonna take that linen color and we are going to tie, we're gonna add a bow with this. Again, I love using the twine on cards because it doesn't add the thickness that you know sometimes other bows do and you gotta pay extra for, for shipping. So ones that I actually mail, I try to not use big, huge bows. Or if you do, it's worth it. You just gotta pay a little extra, little extra postage. Um, here we go. Let me trim those off. This is our last card. This is definitely the more of a traditional one. And again, if, if you're mass producing this, you would just like do all your stamping at once. Then you would do all your pine cones at once. And then you would assemble. So it's, it's not as hard. When you just do one, it actually takes a little bit longer. So I'm gonna put that right there at the top of our pine cone. Last but not least, we need words. So this is a part of that suite too. It's Christmas to remember. So for those of you who are in Card Club, this is um, my featured stamp set for the month. I loved it. Love the fonts, the words. My favorite one is this, love and joy come to you and may it last the whole year through. It's a poet. Um, I'm gonna take that one with a Mary Merlot, deep, deep, beautiful burgundy color. And I'm gonna stamp that down here at the bottom. So see, this is a very traditional Christmas card, Christmas colors, and you know it. The last most important piece to this is going to be our um, holiday rhinestones, and we're gonna sprinkle on the red, the deep reds and the greens, and you could probably even put some of the, the darker yellows if you wanted to, um, but this just really makes this card uh, super special. So we'll put that on the reds and greens. So if you make all these cards, you're going to go through all those colors. All right, get rid of this. These dark stamp pads are scary to me. Got this. All right, so now it's time to a uh, vote. Vote. See here, I'm going to. No one knows that I screwed up this piece. So look at that. Now I'm. I love burying all of my, oops, sorry, I, I mixed you there, burying all of my mistakes. Marcy said, is there a site we can get the poop sayings? Um, actually, that's something that I have for my team, Marcy. I did, obviously shared that with my team, and I also have this meeting planner program, and I shared it there. I don't have a website that I have that loaded onto, so. Um, although if you are on my email list, I bet you I can email it out to everybody. So I'll, I'll do that later in the week. So make sure you are on my email list. If you want those poop poems, I will email them out. Um, but again, you have, but not individually. I can't have 500 of you say, please send it to me. Please send that to me. Um, but if you're on my email list, I'll, I'll, I'll email it out next week. So then everybody can get it. All right, there you go. There is our card, this last one that we made. And then we had this beautiful one. So again, if you place, um, just to recap, I'll bring you back up here so I can see your smiling faces. Um, yes, they, our list said pretty and simple card ideas. Exactly. That is exactly what um, I try to do. Because if you're going to make lots of cards, or even just a few, you can step them up always, but I like to give you something that you can duplicate pretty simple, but they're also beautiful. So um, our first one, in case you missed it, was you warm my heart, and then when you, it's a Z fold, and then you have, you can fill out that inside there. So our second one is probably one of my favorites, 
is the velvet um, with the whimsy and wonder paper. And so there is the knit macaron version, if you can see that. And then um, this one is the blushing bride. So hopefully you guys have loved my Christmas card classes. Please let me know. Um, our third card we made, oh, I showed you, was the, the um, Peaceful Place, but here it is also in the Night of Navy. So let me know which one is your favorite. Again, if you um, place your order, I'll recap it one more time. Um, there's a host code uh, and there's a link that has a host code in it. Your, or if your order is over $35, I'll send you the supplies to make all of those cards. We'll even send you the velvet tree and we'll, we'll run it through for you. Um, and then if your order is over $50, then we will send you those holiday rhinestones for free as well because you're going to need lots of those. So I'm so glad to be here with you and to be able to you know, celebrate Christmas and to be able to get excited about it and have that handmade touch that makes it special. You can make your Christmas cards with your family, with your daughter, with your granddaughter, with your sisters. Um, I always made my Christmas cards and I still do with my friends. I don't ever make them alone. I love to do it together. So I'm really grateful you guys are here. Again, if you have any questions, if you need help placing your order, you can message me. If you have questions about joining um, my Rubber Queen team and again, enjoying being a part of a group that is, we are real active all over the country. We do a Zoom night together once a month where we, um, where we put together card kits and we do mystery projects and we have over 500 people on our team and we really do love to help and support each other. So if you want information about that, it's on sale. The starter kit right now is only $75 and no shipping and you get to pick out $125 in products. So basically you get $50 for free. And then you get to join this amazing team and this amazing company, and you will get to purchase whatever else you want more at a discount. So I always say, if you have a long wish list, then the best thing to do is to, is to buy the starter kit because it obviously is your cheapest way to go. So thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, you can message me. Um, next week, I will not be here for a live. I'm gonna be out of town, but I, am, I filmed a five minute Friday video and I'll post that next week for you. All right, you guys have a great day. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.